this video we'll uh, see how we can make a calculator for covered call option in excel sheet to make this calculator first we have to define a call option and let's say the strike price for that call option is uh, 400 and the premium for that call option is 50 dollars now uh, to define uh, this calculator first we have to um, define the stock price and let's say the stock price starts from zero and then we increase the stock price by increment of 10 in each cell so i'll just refer to the previous cell and uh, i'll say plus 10 and that will uh, uh, and when i drag this cell down i'll have an increment of 10 as i go down so i'll just go down like this and uh, now you can see i have uh, different uh, stock prices written here and now at different stock prices I will calculate the profit I will get from buying the uh, or from selling the call option so now profit from selling call option so that will be dependent on the stock price and the strike price itself so therefore I have to put a, a if logical test and uh, i'll say that suppose stock price is greater than strike price so now if the stock price is greater than strike price and we are selling a call option we will be losing the money and that loss will be equal to stock price minus the strike price so we are losing this much money so i'll say uh, minus one into multiply by so this is the loss we are getting but because we uh, sold the call option we made the money from the premium itself so this is our profit and uh, if the strike price is below the uh, if the stock price is below the strike price in that case we will just make the money and that money will be equal to the premium for that call option so this is how our profit will look like and uh, to just uh, I, if I drag it down you can see that uh, my references to the cells are changing um, I just want the reference for the stock price to change but not to uh, the premium and the strike price so I'll just click on the formula again and I'll put the dollar sign on on this uh, references so that they don't change as I drag the formula down so now you can see that if I drag it down it still remains 50 so the references uh, to the stock changed but not to the strike price and the premium price so I'll click on this again and I drag it down all the way and now you can see that uh, initially I'm making a money of $50 by selling the call option but eventually when it get closer to the strike price the strike price was 400 I'm still making the same money but when it goes to 410 I'm losing the $10 uh, as a payout I have to do because the price of the stock went above the strike price but because I'm making a $50 I have to subtract that $10 from the $50 and eventually you can see at 450 it's a break even point i'm making a zero money at this stage and eventually when it goes higher i start to lose money so this is the profit from selling the call option and uh, now this is the profit from stock itself right now suppose my purchase price for stock Uh, purchase price uh, for stock that is uh, equal to now let's assume it to be hundred dollars for now and uh, let me put this here now if the profit from the stock itself that will be equal to uh, stock price minus the purchase price so this is pretty simple calculation and I'll put a dollar sign here and uh, then I drag it down so now you can see that I'm making money from purchasing the stock itself so if uh, let's say it's 100 
so if it's hundred dollars but i bought it for then at hundred i'm making no money but if it goes below hundred then i'm start to lose money if it's above hundred i start to make money now what is the total profit so the total profit will be equal to uh, so i have to say total and that will be equal to profit from selling the call option plus profit from the stock itself i'll just add them together and then i'll drag them down so this is how the profit chart will look like now let's uh, do a uh, a chart and see how this two look like so i'll just first select the first two and uh, i'll say insert and this is how the plot will look like from selling a call option so i'll say profit from selling call option and uh, i'll change the labels um so i'll go to element and say chart axis so the primary axis is the stock price and uh, the other axis is profit right and i'll delete these and i'll make this chart a little bigger and this is how it will look like right um i'll just put it here now this is how it will look like just to check this i'll change the premium to be suppose uh, 100 now you can see that initially i'm making a profit of 100 dollars but eventually when it reaches the strike price uh the profit starts to decrease and eventually i have a break even at 500 which is 400 plus 100 and then we start to lose money so this is from selling the call option now i just copy this and uh, i'll put it again here and uh, call this as profit from uh buying stock and uh, this profit i have to just click on this plot and i'll drag down to the other column which is profit from the stock itself so i don't have to plot the chart again and now this is my profit so i bought the purchase uh, stock at 100 because i bought it at 100 uh i'll start to make profit when it's above the 100 if it's below 100 then i start to lose money now let's say i it is 500 so if i do 500 now you can see it's more clearly uh, at 500 i start to make money below 500 i'm not making any money if it goes below 500 i start to lose money and eventually it goes to minus 500 when the stock goes to zero so these are the profit from buying the stock and from Uh, selling the call option now if i have to look on the total all i have to do is uh i'll let me make this small so that i can uh, fit all the three in the screen so now you can see all i have to do is click on this one so profit from first call it profit from uh covered call option so now you can click on this and then i'll just drag it down to the total profit and this is how it will look like now to make it little more visible i'll put the premium to be uh Uh, premium is okay i have to change the strike price i'll change the strike price to be 1000 or maybe like 500 uh, 700 so now this is how the profit from the cover call option will look like so now i have uh, overlaid the profit just from buying the stock and overlaid the uh, profit from uh, cover call option itself and now you can see that uh, 
although we are uh, giving up on the profit when the stock eventually goes to much higher prices but if the stock price remains lower than the strike price of the call option then we are actually making more money so when we buy a stock and we think that okay this stock is not going to go up beyond certain level then we can sell a call option there and uh, that way we have higher profit now because we got some money